guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, uh, bringing you another tutorial on how to set up SMS alerts in Home Assistant using a Gmail account. Uh, this is an update to an older video that I've already done, so that's why you'll see a duplicate uh, out there. This is not really hard to set up, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, you're going to have to set up a Gmail account. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it. Um, not hard to do just go set up a free gmail account um, once you have that set up and you've gone through the whole configuration process um, of course you'll end up in your inbox so that's how you know you're done from there the only other thing you have to do in order for this to work properly you're gonna have to allow less secure apps for that particular email address so um, so you're not going to want to use this account for anything other than just alerts because you're uh, it's not going to be very secure. So set up this account specifically to use alerts for Home Assistant. And I'll put the links to everything in the description so that you uh, can copy and paste them and you'll get right to where you need to be. All right, so this is where we're going to go to uh, the less secure apps page. There's a little uh, toggle button in there. You just toggle that to yes to allow less secure apps for this email account. From there, we are ready to move over to our Home Assistant configuration and add in some new components and stuff to make this work. All right, so we're going to create a new notify component uh, specifically for this. I have mine in a notify.yaml file, uh, so that's what I'm going to add on here. Give it a name. I'm just going to call it uh, alert underscore Adrian. The platform for this will be SMTP since we're using uh, an email. Uh, let's see the server. This is going to be smtp.gmail.com. And of course, a uh, port, uh, I think by default, it's 587. We're not really going to change that. And the sender is what you want it to show up whenever you receive the notifications or emails. So I. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I just make mine the username of this account. Uh, start TLS is one. Of course, this will be the username and password that it needs to access that email account. And of course the recipient, um, I'm using it, I want it as a text message obviously for SMS alerts. Uh, so I need the email address of my phone number. So I have a Verizon phone number, so it's my number at uh, vzwpix.com. Uh, I think if you use AT&T, then of course it's your phone number at mms.att.com. It just depends on whatever your email address is for your uh, cellular provider. Now, uh, just to test this out, we're going to create a script to send a test notification with. So I got a script test.yaml file that I have some test scripts in. So I'm just going to add this one down here at the bottom. Uh, we're going to call it uh, test underscore notification. Uh, 
And then I'm just going to give it an alias of uh, test Gmail notification. Again, y'all can call whatever you want. Uh, this is just for the tutorial. Uh, the service is going to be uh, what we created earlier, that notify component. So it'll be notify uh, dot alert underscore Adrian. Let's see here, uh, data, and let's just uh, give it a test message to send out. This is a test notification. Go ahead and save that. Now we can restart Home Assistant for those changes to take effect. Pseudo system CTL, restart Home Assistant. Give that a second to come back up. All right, so we got our web front end here. Got my text messages on here on the right. Uh, let's see here. We'll hit that test notification script I got right here. Uh, let's see, give that a second to pop in. And there it is. This is a test notification. Let's go ahead and click on that so you can see it there in the body. Yep, from Home Assistant, this is a test notification. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is not a very long tutorial. All right, well, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you liked the video, um, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. If there are any videos or anything out there that you want to see that I don't already have out there, let me also know in the comments and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Thanks a lot.